there is a crisis going on. There's an attack on our youth and it's unbelievable. I, I, I don't know what is happening, but I want us to check these videos out. I've just been seeing this stuff come up in my feed and I'm like, wait a minute, what is going on here? More stabbings, more shootings in schools. What is going on? Where is the disconnect and why are they using why are these youths so angry that they want to harm and kill the other student? This is the this is a serious issue. This is a serious issue. Let's check these two videos out and we're going to talk about this. Stabbed three times by a classmate. But first, a 15 year old boy remains in serious condition tonight after he was stabbed three times by a classmate. Buffalo police just charged that boy who is also 15 with felony assault and possession of a weapon. It's the latest instance of serious violence at this high school where a student was able to sneak a knife past weapons detection systems that taxpayers just bought and that were recently wow. installed. Thankfully, he's expected to be OK. Now, students at McKinley returned from summer break just yesterday. Here's what we know so far. Buffalo police tell us the victim was attacked in a stairwell while heading to his next class. He was immediately taken to the nurse's office by a security guard. Two students were then put into cuffs. Officials say this is the second time a matter of months that these two students were involved in a fight that ended in a stabbing. And the two primary individuals, they are known to each other, and this stems from an incident that occurred earlier this summer in July. Uh, there was a stabbing incident that occurred on Main Street around the Fountain Plaza area. Uh, these are this, uh, what we are uh, being told as of right now, these are the same individuals. This is the third day of class for Buffalo Public Schools. Buffalo Police tell us the 15 year old boy is being held at the Erie County Youth Service. This is absolutely in. Sane. I mean, school is just starting. So, we know, we had the, 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 the shooting in Winder, Georgia. Then we had another shooting at Jahapani or something like that. Jahapani um, High School. And now this school has just started. It has just started. School has just started. Services Detention Center on East Ferry Street. The superintendent, Dr. Tanja Williams, says classes will resume tomorrow, even though she could not explain how a knife got in the building or what steps will be taken to make sure this is the last time a serious event happens there. Okay. Let's go right on to the next one. Two 13-year-olds arrested in Hendry County Schools threat investigation. Instead of sitting in the classroom, they're sitting behind bars. Tonight, two LaBelle teenagers are charged with posting threats to social media. Mm. Thanks so much for watching ABC7. I'm Megan Miller. And I'm Chrissy Soto. The Hendry County Sheriff's Office says they threatened to shoot up two schools. ABC7 Samantha Servant is at LaBelle Middle School getting you more on how tips led to their arrests. There's a good chance these kids don't ever walk through the doors of LaBelle Middle School again. Even though deputies found and arrested those students, there was still a single point of entry here at school this morning with metal detectors to make sure everyone was safe. Hendry County deputies were front and center outside LaBelle Middle and High Schools Monday, an important site for peace of mind after a social media post circled this weekend about a shooting. Our sheriff is just not going to put up with that. You make these kind of threats and we find out who you are, you're going to jail. Captain Susan Harrell says tips came pouring in through. As they should. And this is what I want youth to know. When you decide you want to make certain choices and decisions, you have to be prepared for the repercussions for your consequences is called it's, it's a choice first and then it's a decision it's a choice I'm sorry it's a choice and then it's a consequence when you make positive choices typically your consequence is going to be positive typically I can't say 100% of the time most of the time it is but when you make a poor decision and as poor as harming someone else and you're not defending yourself, you have a willfully ill intent to do harm to another person, another kid, another student, your consequence is not, is going to be that. It's going to be negative. And that is what we have to really drill in. But the deeper root cause of what's going on here is deeper than that. And that is what we have to get to. And I'm going to share more about what I'm doing to make a change. Fortify Florida a suspicious activity reporting app 
that sends all information to law enforcement and the school district. Curtis Clay represents both. I was so happy to see how many people actually put in the report, shared the photographs they had received, and we as the Henry County School District want to thank the citizens of Henry County because really as a sheriff's deputy and, and, and director of school safety and security, I know people think security is our issue, but really it's, it's, it's the people's issue, the it families, is. the students. They're going to know about things a lot of times way before we do. Speaking That's of right. students, Stevie Wilson has kids in both LaBelle Middle and High School. She wasn't sure about sending them in today, despite the fact they wanted to go. So it felt a little bit better knowing the exact details, knowing how did we find this out, like what is the credibility of it. The students deputies say made the post were in jail before first bell. Hmm. Diego Salivar and Celiana Velasquez are both 13 years old. One of them told deputies it was a joke. I don't see where that could fall in line at any kind of, of joking matter. Exactly. It's not any way you kind of play it out. There's no way you could have it as a joking matter. No, no. ma'am. Um, in fact, this is pretty sad. I think they think this is some kind of funny drama thing that they can just do it to get out of school or miss school or cause drama. And it, this is not a joke. This mm -hmm. is very, very serious. We've had several students that have panic attacks over this. We have to understand that this is real. And real actions come with real consequences. That's right. These two are facing a felony. Do you know, did, the, did either of those kids have access to weapons? Do you know? I believe one of them did. This is just one example of why the Fortify Florida app is so important. Because of the people who made those reports yesterday, the suspected students were not in class today. In LaBelle, Samantha Serban. Okay, thank God. And I, I just wanna say real quick too, <clears throat> I just want to say that I'm so glad that schools are getting hip to this technology. The technology they had in Winder is truly, truly, truly one of the, one of the key issues that allowed more kids' lives to be saved. And go and check out the video that I did. I think I, I just released a video where I'm talking about it. We also have a video on SIBO and Snapper, but the technology that they have, and now I see that this um, Fortify Florida app has where you know, they can report and it goes right to the official. I mean, and, and they got on it because this now is becoming so prevalent. It's, it's becoming like a way of life. And that is abnormal. That is unacceptable. That is unacceptable. That is not a joking man. I mean, that's nothing to joke about. Never, never, ever, ever. That is n nothing to play with to get out of school. You better off playing sick at home. I got a headache. I got a stomachache with your mama or whoever your uh, your loved ones our guardian, parents, grandparents, you better off playing sick at home than doing something stupid like that because that was stupid, very stupid. They are 13, so they're well, well enough. They're well aware and old enough and to, to understand the choice that they made, not a smart one. And this is where we have to continue to help and steer and let our kids know that it's about making positive choices so you can get a positive result. And handling anger, frustration, is is not the way to get your problem solved. Retaliation on bullying, retaliation for disagreements that you may have with your classmates is not the answer. It's not the answer because no one wins in that situation. No one wins. You got to learn other valuable emotions. And I'm putting on a love, it's called the love tour. I'm going to be at a school coming to you near you. I'm starting out here in the state of California because it is time for us to really get in the, in, in the, in the meat, in the cracks so we can dive in and save our youth because kids are not going to want to go to school. I know some days you just ain't feeling it, but kids are really not going to want to go to school in fear. And you know, our God is not a God of fear. He does not instill, that is not him. So this is coming. This is of the enemy. And we have to walk in love and teach our kids that violence is not the answer. Violence is not the answer. All right, great people. Let's get in this comment section. I want to know what you think about this. Have you heard any more stories? I mentioned two earlier. Um, what have you heard of this? And what is do you know, like what type of tools or apps or practices that they're using in your kids district? to besides metal detectors because how the young man in Winder was able to get through the metal detector if they even had a metal detector for with the gun so they have this advanced technology but did they have metal detectors and if so I wonder how he was able to get through well that kid at the other school got through with the knife so I don't I mean 
I don't know. Is there something else? Do, do they have advanced metal detectors? I mean, are there something that, I don't know, scanners like the airport, you know, is getting to be to me where it needs to be something a little bit more deep that can detect uh, that versus your standard metal detector. So what is in place in your school? Do you know of any lot of the lockdown procedures? Do they have advanced technology? And do they have apps where youth and parents can notify and, and put authorities up on alert based off of evidence they've seen on social media and all that stuff what's been done in your area to protect your kids all right great people go to my um sebo and go to snap a red instagram also snap a red speaks instagram i'm posting there i'm also doing videos every day on twitch i just created myself a twitch account and i realized that a lot of youth are not on during the time i'm doing these videos so i'm going to have to be up when your kids are available to do that i'm up but it's available to be able to um record in the midst of going to, of them going to school so they can hop on and hear what I'm saying in regards to positive encouragement, motivation, goals, all that stuff. Because this is where this is what needs to change in our kids. The mindset, the mindset is everything. And you can come from great homes and your mindset is messed up. You can come from homes that are horrible and your mindset is messed up. It is the will and it is the choice of the kids who want to do well and excel. So I will say this. The the more welcoming, the more um, positive development, the more warm, loving and care the home is, the less the kid will have a distorted mindset. But it doesn't mean that it doesn't happen and it can happen. So I will say that the home environment is very important and they can come from a great home and still make horrible choices. Let's be very clear. OK, I love you guys. Let's chop it up in the comments section. And I'll continue to, to share about the love tour in my description, but go to Snapper Red Twitch, my Snapper Red Speaks Instagram, and also my Snapper Red TV IG. I'm sharing information on those platforms for what's coming. So please, please, please send your kids there. My content is kid friendly. I do have some mature audience content only because of the topics of politics that I put on my Snapper Red TV Instagram that they might not be interested in, as well as um, trending topics, controversial things that's going on. But everything else, youth and teenagers can also go to my Snapper Red TV Instagram. All right. Love you guys. I'll see you soon. Yeah.